welcome to Entertainment Talk Nation. This is Rob. This video, we're going to talk another Godzilla, or rather I should say, we're going to discuss something Godzilla related. This shouldn't be a too, too much of a long video, uh, but it's something I wanted to bring up. I was kind of waiting to do this video in hopes that Legendary would release more of these monster roars, but they haven't yet. I don't want to wait too much longer. So this one, we're going to listen to the Mothra Roar. I'm sure most of you have heard it by now. It's out there. It's no secret. But uh, I kind of wanted to see what you guys thought about it. So let's play it real quick. Okay, so as you've heard, it sounds pretty good, all right? Now, it's a fairly long clip, and the roar is not the only thing in the clip. Uh, as you see, there's a shot of uh, Mothra fighting Rodan. So, uh, very, very interesting. I do like the roar. It's very much tied with the Toho roar, but it also has other elements and other things surrounding it that give it some uniqueness and some originality. And this is something we've seen with Godzilla as well. When we first heard Godzilla's roar, it had your typical opening portion of the roar and the ending of the roar was a little bit deeper with more bass and it carried a lot further than the original roar i'm suspecting that all these toho monsters that are going to be in this movie rodan and Ghidorah, uh probably are going to have their original roar to some extent but it's going to be coupled and it's going to be aligned with new portions of their roar in fact if you remember the five minute clip if you haven't seen it uh, this is not a spoiler or anything, but there was a portion in the five-minute clip where Ghidorah is kind of spits out his original roar, like one of the heads. I think the right head had a, a small moment where you could hear the original roar from the show era. Uh, but outside of that, it had many different types of sounds it was making. Uh, you know, a long screech, uh, some rattling, which is very obviously when we talk about how Michael Doherty discussed getting different sounds from different animals in Rio. Uh, he did mention snakes. He did mention rattlesnakes. And that's heavily, heavily included in Ghidorah's whole design or sound, I should say. So I think this is a good, I think this is perfect for Mothra. Uh, you kind of hear that, that almost dietic, that, that deity that she is, that hum that she always had uh, is there. It has a presence um, but it also, like I said, it's coupled with other sounds to give it some uniqueness. And we've heard these sounds too. If you look at some of the other trailers, in particular, the many different TV spots and trailers that we've seen where Mothra is flying down, uh, you can hear an original screech that she makes. Uh, where in this one, we hear that original Toho roar that she has. So I think, I think when we hear these monsters roar, their roar will probably be defined depending on what the situation calls for. Um, so it'll be interesting to see when we hear these classic Toho roars and they're upgraded there. You know, this is <clears throat> obviously sounds really, really loud and it's got a lot of clarity, but I think what we're going to hear is we're going to hear those roars in certain situations. I don't think we're going to hear them consistently. Uh, I think we're going to get a lot of different roars depending on the monster's mood, whether or not they're fighting, uh, whether or not they're in a docile state. I'm very, very much looking forward to hearing how Rodan sounds and how Ghidorah sounds. Uh, obviously, we've heard some of Ghidorah. We faintly heard some of Rodan, but I'm hoping that Legendary releases a clip for both of them, very similar to what we got from Mothra, where we can hear distinctly what they sound like without any kind of uh, interference uh, from surrounding sounds and surrounding monsters. So, but I think I think this is a good good roar. I think it's a good. Again, it's got that classic Toho roar. Can't complain, right? And of course, we already know that there's other sounds she's gonna make. We've already heard it. So, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. What do you think about this Mothra roar? Are you satisfied? Are you happy with what she sounds like? And I'm sure most of you, if not all of you, are happy that they also included uh, Mothra's original roar from Toho. That they incorporated it into her design. Uh, I'm very satisfied with everything regarding Mothra. We've talked a lot about her leading up to this movie, uh, even before seeing her, you know, wondering, eh, are they going to make the design well? And we're, I think everybody's pretty much satisfied with the design. Uh, and I think adding the roar is just kind of like the cherry on top of the pie. You know what I mean? So let me know in the comments what you thought of the roar. Are you satisfied with it? Do you not like it? 
um, which should be interesting. Tell me why. You know, if you don't like it, tell me why. Definitely, I want to hear that. Anyway, guys, that's it for this video. Hey, listen up. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button. Definitely support ETN. Uh, we've been around here for a couple of years now, and we've got a lot of great people in this community. And also, for those of you who have been here for a while, we got shirts. We got shirts. If you look below the video, uh, scrolling across, you'll see a number of shirts that recently were designed. If you want to go and check it out, click on the link, check it out, see if there's something you're interested in. Pick one up. I'm going to be picking some up soon so I can change my, my shirts through videos and wear stuff that represents what I'm doing. But um, yeah, definitely hit the subscribe button if you haven't hit it already, but you come here commonly to check out the Godzilla videos. We're going to be doing a lot more Godzilla videos over the course of the next year leading up to Kong versus Godzilla. And then who knows after that, right? And also, don't forget to stop by on Friday night, tomorrow night. We're going to be doing a live stream, but this stream is going to be a lot of fun. We're going to be crunching the numbers. I got a request from a viewer who wants me to really kind of dig into the potential box office hole of Godzilla King of the Monsters. And I did some research today, which is why this video is so late. And I found some interesting things that I think some of you will find pretty Pretty interesting when we go over to tomorrow night in the stream. And also, we're going to have some fun after we do that crunch numbers. Uh, a lot of you have been requesting. <laughs> a lot of you have been requesting for me to bring Lenny back onto the stream and do some roasting. So if there's some Godzilla videos that you have seen over the course of the last six months that you want Lenny to look at and view and give his opinion on, now is the time to save those links and have them ready for tomorrow night. Should be a lot of fun. Until then... This is Rob signing off for ETN, where we don't do news, we just talk entertainment. Take it easy. Thank you for watching ETN. Don't forget to subscribe and join the Nation Facebook page.